Just get me back in. I've been phoneless for two days. I need a TikTok. Grab my phone. Hello? What are we stuck on? No. Watch the light. <laughs> okay, Kiki, we need privacy, dude. Go, go away, okay? It is officially day one in the new house. It's been pretty hectic last night. I didn't want to get everything ready because I was exhausted. I've been up since 5 a.m. and there was like really no rush because it was at least going to be two days work. For me, he might be ready. Our house didn't fully cool down last night until the middle of the night. All I had was a sheet because I need to buy a comforter. <laughs> I woke up freezing in the middle of the night. Then I wake up. There's so many things that I don't have. Like I don't have a floor mat in my shower. I don't have anywhere to put utensils. Bathroom utensils, that's what they you call them. I don't have hangers in my room yet. Like there's a ton of stuff I just need. The first official meal in the new house. Cooked, okay this morning I made toast, strawberries, and it doesn't count. What I did was I stole some of Scotty's frozen salmon. Mm -hmm. Thank you Scotty. I shipped up some Yatos and some broccoli. Now sitting right here is probably 1200 calories of pure healthy food. I'll be very impressed if I finish this. Why do I always talk like, I have this way of talking on the internet that I don't talk in real life. Roommate reveal in three. <laughs> Oh, oh. What is up, everybody? We'll get to Scotty in a bit, but Scotty boy chefed up already. What do we got over here? We had very limited items to work with. We did. Wagyu beef burger. Nice. Sauteed broccoli and asparagus. Nice. Over a bed of creamed mashed potatoes. Okay. With garlic. Okay. And like a little bit of honey sauce. So honey sauce. We're gonna see how it is. I literally have been delusional for 72 hours. This is my dinner. I needed this. The past three hours have been the most stressful, so. Simple. You're starting simple. Very simple. Mm -hmm. Lots of rosemary. Mm. I'm gonna eat. You guys go away. I'm kidding. I'll see you and go away. <laughs> what is this? Sample <laughs> protein stuff, bro. What is this? Let me get some depth on that, dude. You are ridiculous. How much protein's in that? 645 grams? <laughs> Enough to kill a large Samoan man? Yeah. 60 grams. You're gonna eat all that? Yeah, 100%. That's how much stomach space I have divided into my day. Oh. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, that's it. That's yeah. my stomach times three, plus a little sum. <laughs> Cake in there. Day two living with Scotty. That's what it looks like. Looks like Earth Cafe in West Hollywood. Light work, baby. <laughs> Rory, did Scotty make you anything like this? He's like, nah, fuck that dog. I've had avocado toast like once in my life, and it was really good. So many, so many, so, so, so many bridges on Grab my phone. Hello? What do you think I am right now? <laughs> The Apple Store, obviously. It's been a long 24 hours. That's really shown me that we are way too attached to our phones, but that's an entirely another topic in itself. I've been using my Mac to like communicate with people, which is good, at least there's that. The idea that I need social media and that I need to be checking stuff, that pissed me off, so I don't need to do that. I do not enjoy the feeling that like people can't get a hold of me if it's like work or even life. Like all my shoddies. <laughs> I don't have any of those. So I'm at the Apple Store, they open in like 10 minutes. I'm gonna be here for five hours as the Apple Store always goes. I've got good news and I've got bad news. The good news, we'll do bad news first because everyone wants bad news first. The bad news is that I don't have a phone for the next 24 hours. That's an estimation. Could be shorter, would be dope, even though I have an idea. Could be longer, which would be more bad news. Bad news, schmad boobs. Schmad boobs, I almost said boobs. Boobs. Now the good news is that I had Apple Care theft protection law, so it all worked out. Did I want to spend that money for no reason? Fuck no. I'm so frugal lately and that gets me, but when stuff like that happens, it's like so detrimental so fast. Like as soon as that phone's gone, it's gone. It's like there's no point in worrying about it. what's gonna happen is gonna happen. You have to get a new phone and you have to pay for it. It's my fault. I was dumb. I put my phone in a cup holder like an idiot in a tube while rafting. And I had a warning because I almost lost it earlier, thought it went in the water and it was in the th whatever. Point being is this. Because I don't have my phone for 24 hours, we might as well do influencer that doesn't use phone for 24 hours or some shit like that. And is that impressive? No. It's not impressive to do it for 24 hours, but it's what we got, so we're gonna do it. It's not easy, and you forget how necessary phones are. Like, in our lifetime, we didn't have them. Our parents didn't have them. Like, MapQuest existed for that reason, right? Like, I was on my way home last night, I forgot. I was like, I have to know how to get home. It's a new house, I just moved here. It's like 30 minutes away. Lucky for me, I knew how to get home and it was easy. But if I didn't, well, I had to like print out directions. What if I broke down the side? the road. Gotta like walk somewhere. What? Like what? To like ask for help. I couldn't even call 911. What am I gonna do? Moral story is this. Today's Wednesday. Today's an analytical day, which means I'm sitting here watching videos. Shout out Elliot Choi. Those group of kids out in New York are really, really smart. I've been keeping up on them. Let's say that. Really cool kid. I was about to sit down because I got my handy dandy smart booklet out, but when I went up to get it in my room, I realized I need to arrange my room differently. So we're gonna do that. Right. You wanna come arrange your room? Come on. Let's go. There you go. Kiki, I love you. <laughs> so nice. Man. Off to the bed. You're getting your hair all over the ground. <laughs> now, we've got a new setup. 
I might either get a bed frame or put this on the floor, which isn't very manly like. I have you guys on the on the tripod. I wonder if you could see it in the reflection of TV. <laughs> I mean, it's coming along pretty well. Like, look, we got my chair and the desk, which is kind of blocking part of it. I went with like this weird, I'm gonna do a full house tour literally this week. Everything's like almost done. I don't know, this just seems better. I need something on that wall, like a tapestry, a tapis a tapestry or something. Something's going on that wall. That's like way too much nothing. It's so white in here. It's like a library. <laughs> I was just watching a video. It was just like a random comment. Something that just quickly popped in was someone talking about how they're obviously gonna dress nice when they go on a date. And then that got me thinking, I was like, your first impression is so important. And I get that. And I think in specific, when you're working with like a business, you have a meeting or you're meeting with an agency, like something like that, or even a new job, whatever it may be, that's important. But then I was thinking on a date, like should you really dress any different than you are gonna dress seven days a week on your date? Like this person specific was talking about how like most of the time they don't spend a lot of money on clothes and like some of their clothes have holes in them and blah, blah, blah. Like, Obviously when I go on a date, I'm gonna dress nice. But when you're on a date, the status you need to uphold, this is so boring, <laughs> I'm so old. The status you need to uphold with that person, if it does turn anything, should be what you upheld on that first date, right? Because I think relationships have a tendency to just go downhill. Your behavior goes downhill, the spark, the fire, every, the way you treat that person just naturally in a lot of relationships go downhill because people don't have the perspective to realize they need to uphold that. But do you guys think if you go on a date, should you dress unusually nicer than you normally do? Because then on your second date or your third date or, or you're with that person every day, you're not gonna be dressing like that. So essentially like they're not getting what they signed up for. Just a thought, like for me, as I grow older, I make it a point to make sure I'm acting myself when I'm around a new girl. Like I don't wanna act different because my true colors are gonna come out eventually. I'd rather bring my true colors to the table. Just a weird thought, I don't know, it's not it, but it, I gotta go to work. <laughs> I, uh, I spilled, I spilled all over myself. When do I not though, you know? <laughs> never, never. So this is gonna be some very sad news to some of you guys, sad to me. Coming up on day five, I think, no coffee, which is, I think strong, kind of like, like me. <laughs> I'm weak as fuck. I do like a little reset every, I like to say every couple months, but realistically, it's like whenever I have the balls to do it, and it's like usually every six months, I'd say like once a year. Once a year, I do a coffee reset. Cause usually what happens is I'll reset for like, I'm gonna go a month without caffeine, and then in two weeks, I'm like, I don't feel any different. I'll drink caffeine again. But this time, it's really taking a toll on me. And so, I was gonna say and so, and then I was gonna go to the next thing, but that didn't really explain much of it. I was really exhausted yesterday and the day before. Like midway through the day, I run out of energy. And the whole point of this is to let my body start making natural energy again. Cause when you're drinking caffeine every day, your body isn't naturally making it anymore. There's no need. Whatever the receptors do, they, they bind to the, the other receptors, which then puts the cortisol into remission. <laughs> Science. With that being said, the one thing I haven't set up in the new house is the coffee bar. I just haven't done it yet because I haven't needed to make coffee. The main reason is I don't know where to put it. I haven't found a good spot yet. The problem is my grinder is like 65 feet tall. No, realistically, it's like about as tall as me. So like four foot five. It's like a couple. It's probably, okay, this one's going to be a serious answer. I know I was kidding about the other one. It's 2.2 feet tall. That's a really, it's taller than that, I think. Definitely taller than that. <laughs> So where it is right now is the only place and at the old house I had that whole, remember I built like, okay, most of you are like, no, nah, I don't remember, I don't watch your videos, but whatever, jerkwads, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That doesn't make sense if you're here, then obviously you do. I made that little coffee bar in my house, which required a lot of drilling into the walls. Here, we're not allowed to drill into the walls, which I get it, it's not a company, it's a landlord, she's gonna be back, she doesn't want us drilling holes in all the walls. I shouldn't have agreed to that because I, I like art and we were only able to hang art where she allowed us to. So what I'm thinking is, currently it's over there in that corner because I can fit the grinder or like in its own corner in the espresso machine under. What I'm thinking is this little spot, what I can do is use kitchen space. So I could put the espresso machine there because the espresso machine fits. And then I could do like some sort of a cart, which is like a espresso bar cart, we're gonna, we're gonna call it. And then I could put the grinder on there. And then maybe even if it's low enough, I can hang something because I put a, this is really hard to do. I put a painting, that's a drawing. I could hang like some cabinets, <laughs> I could hang something. I need to make the coffee bar. Like the roof? Yeah. <laughs> How long do you think it's been since I lost my phone? I mean, it's been 24 hours since I lost my phone. Over 24 hours since I lost my phone, but we're not gonna count yesterday. It's currently 5.30. I feel like in this video, I haven't really struggled without my phone yet. I really haven't today. I've been on my computer all day. My texts are hooked up to my computer. That's really all I need. To be honest too, I noticed today how many people text me. <laughs> 
I know when you're in middle school, like, that's cool. I'm not saying that like a flex at all. It's not a flex. I don't realize how much I communicate with people in all different aspects of my life, business, everything, until I was doing it on my computer. Like, I feel like the message tab was up all day. But besides that, I haven't really struggled with it. Where I will struggle with it is this. We're headed to the gym right now. Kiki, say hi. You're never in the videos. No. That's not hi. Say hi. Show some respect. Well, actually, you know what? Maybe I'll edit this one, Kiki, and I'm gonna leave it in there. We're headed to the gym right now. I'm not gonna have a phone, so that means I'm not gonna have headphones. That's a big issue. To be honest, that's a really small issue. Another thing, last night, and I'm gonna experience it again tonight, I didn't have an alarm this morning. I woke up without an alarm. I just sent it, too. Like, there was a chance I was gonna wake up at noon, because I've been exhausted. Like, I had my shades down, too. I just thought, like, I was up at noon. If that was the case, I would have been really disappointed in myself. Lucky for me, I woke up at, like, 7.30, tried going back to bed, which was the mistake. Then I could have woke up at noon and I ended up just staying up because I, I kind of had like some fear that I was going to wake up at noon and I didn't want to do that. So the no alarm clock thing's an issue. But besides that, I'm thriving off the grid, baby. I don't need it. Me and Kiki just hit legs. I don't like bringing my camera in this gym just because it's so packed. It's not like the vibe. Like, if we had like a more private gym, like uh, Scotty goes to Glory Gains a lot. Like, Glory Gains, if I ever go to Scotty, I'll bring my camera and vlog. I want to vlog some workouts for you guys, but just today it was just like so packed. You probably couldn't hear me. There was a million people in every shot. But we destroyed our legs. Kiki doesn't normally do legs. Sorry, Kiki, I'm throwing you under the bus. But today he went hard. So we're proud of Kiki. If you guys want more gym content, let me know. I guess more is the wrong word because I haven't even given it to you to begin with. If you want gym content, let me know. So I'm in bed and a couple things have come to mind. I moved my bed, remember? Now I'm like really close to so I can't sit up and then on top of that the TV has to angle towards me and look how fucking crooked it is Is that just me? Is that an illusion? No, it's not an illusion. It's fucking crooked. It's bothering me one full day with no phone done. This whole 24 hour no phone thing might be turning into 48 hours and then it might turn into 72 hours and next thing you know It's a YouTube video titled a week without a phone as an in wannabe influence or whatever. I'm gonna go to sleep tomorrow morning I'm taking my puppy on his first walk around town. Very excited about it <sighs> I'm awake. Yes, my YouTube channel. You guys can check me out. Scotty's over here, as per usual, chefing me up some. What do you? What do you? What do we got on the menu, dude? dude? Easy protein ups. We're going to the gym in like an hour, so you need to be filled, bud. Of course. You're saying I'm not already filled? Just had my lady detailed by the one and only Mr. One Vision. This could be her last detail ever. It has officially been, has it been? F no, not 48 hours. A day and a half since I lost my phone. Technically two days. It's currently noon and I, ah, I did lose my phone around noon. It's been 48 hours without a phone since it just, into the, still there by the way. I mean, I would guess. Unless a scuba diver picked it up and found all my naked photos myself. That'd be such a shame. Just kidding, he doesn't know my passcode. And I don't have naked photos myself, but the passcode, whatever. I'm doing good, kind of. I'm like stressed because my claim hasn't gone through yet. Like it's still, it hasn't even been approved. The likelihood of me getting a phone in the next 48 hours is still slim, which means I have to go another for, it's terrible. Yes, I'm drinking coffee, okay? I know it's supposed to be tomorrow, but then I made Scotty one. He said he didn't like it. So I was like, ah, oh, fine, don't worry about it. I got it, I'll drink it. I need something happy in my life, okay? I'm phoneless, I'm off the grid, so I need coffee. This is our new roof. It's, uh, there's a mountain over there. It's cool, you'll see some stuff up here. We're gonna do some things. We have made a delivery attempt. Don't wait until the end of the business day for delivery. Go pick up your package. Right. It's like radioactive. I was gonna send a nuke to my aunt. I was gonna say, my bomb, my bomb's supposed to be there at 3030. Sweet, thank you so much. Yep. Have a good one. Falls at the bottom and shatters. My phonelessness ends in like literally the next minute. I'm about to set up my phone. It is currently 2 p.m. on the 21st. I lost my phone on the 19th. Like I said, it was probably around noon, so I've gone over 48 hours without a phone. Now, I don't know if this video was supposed to be 24 hours, 48 hours, if I lied and said a week, okay? I'm kidding, I don't lie. I wouldn't fib like that. Hey Siri, hey Siri. Send a message. How's the weather today? Set a timer for three minutes. Play some music. Hey Siri, play some music, play some music. Just get me back in. I've been phoneless for two days. I need a TikTok. Another thing I learned, social platforms, Instagram, TikTok on the computer, absolutely useless. Your message requests don't even work on Instagram. Not that I'm checking them for shoddies to hit my line, because that's fucking weird and I wouldn't. I wouldn't, I, I don't. And then TikTok, I, I haven't even used it, I haven't even tried. Because I can't make a TikTok and I don't like scrolling through TikTok anyway. Like I only do that for work. So if I'm not gonna make a TikTok, I'm not gonna scroll through TikTok, rule number one. I feel excited to have my phone back. And that's not a good thing, you know? Like that's the whole point of this video is I'm supposed to feel off the grid. And to be honest, I felt on the grid. I felt like I was a part of the grid still. <laughs>